Hi guys and welcome to another kit review. Okay, so as you can see, we're having a look at a kit from Tamiya. And yes, I have already done a review of Tamiya's um, kit and craft rod, but this is the later one, okay? 135th scale. This one is kit number 35377. And this is the 2021 brand new tooling for the kit and craft rod. I have already done a review of this one okay this is the 1988 kit and craft rod from tamiya uh, this one's kit number 35029 but this one is the brand new one it has the same three figures or no not the same three figures but it does have three figures in it okay a lot more parts okay individual track rubbers individual wheels okay so it is a lot more detailed okay like i said it's a brand new tooling um very very similar of course because just like the old one you have three figures one of which is carrying an mp42 same again there are slight differences on the older version you'll see here it has a front number plate there's no number plate on here these figures have helmet decals these guys do not apart from that one or two minor differences in the fit out with the equipment etc but overall this is a new tooling it has photo etch grills in it okay so a little bit more involved in the construction phase so let's have a look at the rest of the box on the side usual tamiya three views front back and side this one is painted in overall dark yellow with uh, red brown and green uh, stripes on the other side you've got just a plain dark yellow and yes you do still get the SDK of Z1 trailer with this one as well so not much difference in that okay but apart from that it's a Ketten Crab or sorry Ketten Craft Crab to be correct okay so let's have a look and see what's in the box so you have your little tiny decal sheet and your photo etch. You have your figure sprue, and this is a new tooling as well for the figures. You have another bag with two sprues in it. This is your individual wheels for the kitten craft rod, plus the trailer parts on the other side. This is the actual body of the unit, okay, with the drive sprockets, etc. And in this particular bag, you've got your trailer wheels okay and fittings plus your track and your individual track rubbers and wheels okay so like I said there's a lot more involved in actually putting this one together instruction sheet of course standard Tamiya and being a new kit you have this which is a history of the kit and craft rod plus your color suggestions and of course your tech tips from Tamiya okay so that's the box in a second we'll have a look at the instructions okay so let's have a look at the instructions for this new kit and craft rod okay so standard Tamiya layout on the front page this is a photo of the actual kit built and painted of course uh, these particular instructions have your warnings on the front your paint call outs which are all Tamiya colors and recommended tools there are 20 steps in this particular kit instructions whereas in the old instructions there are nine steps okay fairly simple straightforward uh, kit was the old one okay so let's go over leaf you've got how to deal with your photo etch, okay, cements, etc. And then you get straight into building the multi-part body, all right? So you do have a few parts to go on here. This is a Tamiya kit, so I can't see you having any major dramas with that. You carry on constructing the body of the kit and craft rod, which is the sides going on. Now you'll notice it has these all the way through the instructions. So all this is, and I'll bring it up closer so you can see it, is a reminder to remove that particular 
sprue molding point okay and they are throughout this entire instructions just tell me being super careful so the next step up to three is your photo edge griddles okay it does show you there's an outside and an inside and it does give you a jig little tiny jig so you can bend them okay so that they are bent correctly to fit into the engine cover so that's a handy thing to have I like the way they've done that and then you just go on to putting the engine cover in no glue of course because you will be able to open that these are the fuel tank tops going on okay it does show you you can open that then you just carry on to extra parts going on so this is parts of the body all right the back seats etc the light assembly at the back then you get to the engine which is only a two part but it does have color call outs throughout so you can paint this engine up really nicely okay so then you've got your gearbox sorry gear lever etc going on to the engine the engine goes into the compartment so this area here will have to be painted first okay all right but it's really really nicely complicated that shows you exactly how it's supposed to sit with the seat okay so literally the driver sat on top of the engine just like a motorcycle all right that's all it is then you just carry on putting some parts on the front all right instruments etc drive levers okay you do have decals for the instruments on this particular model which is a good thing and then you get to the more complex part of this kit which is putting the wheels together so there are a lot of wheels okay a lot of road wheels drive sprocket is two parts etc you do have two sets of these to build up okay overleaf this is where it gets even more complex so this is where you start putting the tracks so it is link and length tracks for a little tiny kit like this interesting challenge okay very interesting challenge but it does show you bit by bit how to do it so that's okay what it's supposed to look like so just take your time then of course you've got the other side to do same again all right these are the right side wheels and drive rocket same again with the track okay so you do have a left and a right not a hard one but there is a lot more work in putting this wheel track assembly together okay and once you put the tracks on then it's time to put the track rubbers on okay so yes it does have individual track rubbers but they've designed the sprues so you cut the sprue off and glue a whole section on at the same time at least that's the idea It'd be interesting to see how that comes out in practice but i can't see it being a bad thing especially considering how small these track rubbers are going to be okay so once that's done all right the tracks go on to the body these are your rear mud flaps front forks again you'll see numerous points where it says cut these sprue bits off okay just to remind you not to leave them on i guess they are covering all experience levels okay then you just put in the front forks on all right the tarp then we get to the um sdk of z1 trailer right fairly simple again construction multi-part all right I believe the original one and I'll actually dig it out yes the original one was just one box and then you added the wheels etc to it but this is a multi-part assembly okay so then you've got your putting your trailer wheels together putting the tarp on top and then that's it she's done constructing the figures okay it does have paint call outs for your figures all the way through all right this is your mt42 k98s it does have color call outs for those as well and overleaf you have your other infantry figures okay 
just to show you where the water bottles etc go and how to paint them all up and that's it okay but that is 20 steps okay so and you do get bases for these standing figures which is quite unusual most kits figure kits don't include a base okay and then how to apply decals usual tamer tamia etc etc so that's your instructions this is your history okay basically whoop, that was the wrong way around background information okay it is in most languages english german french japanese of course okay mainly japanese all right these are very handy things to keep because they do give you a really good idea of what the vehicle is all about suggested color schemes standard overall dark yellow green and red to suit whatever camouflage scheme you want to do okay or just plain overall sand and that's it that is the cat and crash rad 2021 so let's have a look at the photo etch and it is it's a little tiny photo etch okay I'll give you close-ups of this anyway but that is your photo etch grills there's not much to it so if you haven't done photo etch before there's nothing to be scared of there all right and this is your decal sheet okay and the only thing you get on this decal sheet are instruments that's all the name of the kit and one little thing of instruments compared to the original and the 1988 which had this many decals okay it had the ramp brigade all sorts of different units even helmet decals etc in it okay and number plates and you'll notice there are no number plates all right so um yeah that's an interesting thing you may have to I'm not sure. I'll have to check to see if the later Ketten Crowds had a number plate. Maybe they didn't. Maybe that's why they didn't include them. But that's all you get as far as decals in this kit. It's just the instrument decals. Okay, so that's the instructions and the decals, so to speak. In a second, we'll have a look at the sprues. Alrighty, so let's have a look at the sprues and we'll start off with this one. Okay, so as you can see, this is the body of the Ketten Craft Rod. You've got your rear sides. This is the main body part. These are where your tracks attach to. This is the bottom. Okay, that's the front. These are the tops of your fuel tanks. Okay, this here is your um, jig to bend the um, photo etch grills, dry sprockets of course, it's your handlebars, okay, so this is all your front assembly, that is your instrument panel, okay, so really nicely detailed, okay, so let's have a look, so it's very crisp of course because it's a 2021 kit, you wouldn't expect anything else, these are the little things that that little knife symbol on your instructions are saying cut these off okay so that's just to remind you that they're not supposed to be there okay it's really nice detail though there is your dry sprockets where is that instrument panel okay so you do get decals to go in that instrument panel all right so that's really nice it is quite crisp I do like the handles you'll notice that this doesn't have the rear rails on it okay those rails are separate okay that's your driver's seat let's see if I can okay there she goes so here's the old one as you can see right that's it that is your older one one piece whereas this is all multi-pieces and you've got your back rails 
there's a side bit where your wheels go on um, your track sections go on so the detail is for an older kit okay but not yeehaw fantastic okay i'll get rid of that so you can see that better although you can see this much better in the uh, review i did okay so that's the old one the new one apart from the different color plastic of course which doesn't mean anything what color plastic these things come in the detailing is much crisper and much finer so i do like that okay so like i said this is a completely new tooling for this 2021 kit Okay, so next up we'll have a look at this particular sprue. Now this is the trailer sprue, as you can tell. There are the trailer sides and the tarp. It does have the engine on it and the individual road wheels. Okay, this is the front, um, we'll call it a motorcycle wheel, but basically this is the front wheel for the Kentcraft Road. Match enough, that's your engine cover, that's your front forks, etc. Okay, your seats and parts for your um, engine. This is your uh, Solex carburetor, I believe. Okay, so let's have a closer look. So as you can see, there is a lot more detail. A lot more detail. There's a lot more detail on that engine block. Okay. Um, let's grab the old one where are you there we go so there is your old 1988 engine compared to your new 2021 engine huge difference in that so there's a lot more detail in this kit but of course there's a lot more work in it all right so there is your front wheel. It does have a tread on it, which is very nice. Separate forks, of course, and the trailer is a multi-part body. All right, so you get the sides, your bottom, your cover, of course. This one doesn't get any accessories like the old kit does. Um, the old one had a radio and uh, all sorts of bits and pieces, jerry cans and things, but this doesn't have those. All right, but overall this is a really um highly detailed really well done kit uh let me see grab the old trailer and you can see there's the old trailer there's not much to see as far as detail is concerned on this particular one as you can see you have the ribbing which braced the trailer and i think Yes, there is, we'll move that out of the way. There is the front wheel with the composite mudguard, no tech light, number plate, etc., all on it. There is the old handlebars and the forks, okay? But when you compare them to the new one, right, there's a lot more detail. All right, so that is the trailer majority, your road wheels and your engine block, etc. So let's have a look at the next sprue. And the next one is 
these two. These are exactly the same, so I'm going to put one of these aside. And these, of course, are your work. All right. These are your individual track rubbers and your link and length tracks. Okay. So you do have some lengths, three different lengths, four different lengths, individual links. Okay. These are your trailer wheels, an inner and outer, plus a couple more of your road wheels. All right. And bits and pieces like hooks and things. Okay, so there's a lot more work in this new kit. All right. Um, given the choice, depends on your skill level and how much effort you want to put in. Both kits are still available as far as I know. So let's have a look at the detail on the new one. All right. So turn this around. There's your trailer wheel. It does have a tread on it. There's the individual track rubbers. Like the track is really nicely detailed. Okay. Really good detail. Really nice detail on the wheels. But as I said, there is a lot more work to that one. Okay. So that's that's basically all the work. In the old one, of course. In the old one. All you had to do is put these loose wheels on here against the body and it was done. Okay, so a lot more work in the new one. The old one is still quite good for the size of this kit, but there is a lot more detail in this one. Okay, so next we'll have a look at the figures. Okay, and the last sprue I've got to show you is this one. These are your figures, okay? Three figures, like I said. Two standing figures, one sitting. MG42 and K98. These are the bases for the figures, okay? So they can stand up in a walking pose, okay? You'll notice also that these are half bodies, okay? I'll turn it around so you can see the other side. Quite obviously why. So that's actually saving Tamiya plastic. From that extra plastic, they can put that towards making more kits. All right. Plastic comes from oil. Oil's expensive. Save money. Why not? Seems a smart thing to do for me. Okay, so that's your figures. All right. Quick comparison. Very quick comparison. There's your original figures, okay? Fairly crude, but basically the same fit out K98, MB42. These guys get a Panzerfaust, etc. Okay, but much cruder detail on those figures. So let's have a look at these guys, speaking of detail. All right, so let's have a look. Oh, I'll turn around. Faces first, guys. So there's your faces. They look almost exactly the same. In fact, I think they are. They're probably twins, these guys. So there's no difference or not much change in the facial structure. Detail on the uniforms, really quite nice though. All right. Pocket details, details on the uniforms, it's quite sharp. Turn this around so you can see this. So you can see front and back. How much detail is on these um, that there on these figures is a location point for uh, bread bag etc okay and I'll give you close-ups of these anyway that's the other guy's face he's got a slightly different face but it's a Tamiya face it's not hugely um, detailed in expression or whatever but still not a bad Actually, let me have a look again. 
I made a bed. There's actually four heads. There's only three guys and four heads. But there you go. You can actually have two different drivers. Okay, if you want. These heads are for the standing figures. Okay, you do have a cap on this guy. Or you can put helmets. You can, from what I can see, chop and change. Depending on who's going to wear the cap and who's going to wear the helmet. Okay, so there you have your MP42. And I'll turn that around. MP42 and K98. Okay, these are your trenching shovels. That's a magazine for the MG42 and the bases. Okay, and that's the figures. Okay, so you do get four heads, three figures. So there is a possibility, a slight possibility, that you could mix and match. And that brings us to the end of this one. Okay, and that brings us to the end of this review. Okay, so that is Tamiya's 2021 release Kitten Craft Rod. Kit number 35377 came out in 2021. Much more highly detailed, brand new tooling, as well as the figures, brand new tooling. Okay, a lot more work in constructing the wheels track assembly. Okay. But a lot more detail in the whole kit altogether. Your choice as to which one you would go for, whether you go for this one or the earlier 1988 release, they are both available at this point in time. I've seen them just recently. Price wise, Australia, $38 thereabouts for this new one, and around the $24, $25 mark for the older one. So, your choice as to which way you want to go. If you're a beginner, not too fussed about the detailing. Older kit's fine. Okay. Anyway, that brings us to the end of this one. Hope you got something from it. Thank you for your likes, your comments, subscriptions. Always welcome. Okay. And as usual, guys, until I see you next time, take it easy. Stay safe.